All right, so it's 1 a.m. and I'm really tired, but I wanted to get this video uh, posted since I said I would on my Facebook. Um, <clears throat> people got expectations, kind of left them hanging. Uh, but I had this experience today. Uh, I was driving home, um, <clears throat> and uh, and I got pulled over. I guess I had a headlight out. I didn't realize my headlight was out. Um, so the woman comes over to me. Um, you know, and, and explains to me the situation, whatever, I'll get my registration, all that took forever, too, with it, um, and, uh, long story short, um, it comes back and tells me my headlight's out, well, I have this, uh, interlock device on my car, this ignition thing, because I got a DUI in August, um, which is a whole other story that I might end up vlogging about because I really did learn a lot from it. I don't really know much about cars, so I thought I had to take my car into the shop, so I was asking her, I'm like, well, June 8th, I get this thing off my car, and it's kind of a hassle to have work done before then on my car. Do you think it could wait until then? And she's like, well, I can't guarantee that another cop won't give you a ticket, and I'm like, oh, man, like that sucks, and then she was like, well, you could change it yourself, um, you know, and I was like, oh, you know, and then she, she was like, if you don't, like, she literally asked me, if you don't mind me telling you, <laughs> um, which I thought was just really interesting. I don't know. It's just, it was just weird. You know, here's this female cop who's got power over me. Um, and she's asking for my permission, I assume, because I'm a dude and I should know about cars or whatever, or, to, or it's weird for a woman to be telling a dude. I, I don't really know, but she was asking for my permission, uh, to tell me how to do it. So she told me how to do it. Um, which was cool. It was cool to have that experience. Uh, now I'm going to read my owner's manual for sure um, and learn more about that because I, I do want to learn about cars. I do have interest. I just don't I don't know anybody who can teach me really um, and I haven't had the opportunity to learn about it. Uh, but um, I definitely got that from the experience. Um, and then on my way home, I get from there, I get pulled over again five minutes down the road, same thing. And... Um, and, uh, you know, and the, and the cop came up and, and the cop, uh, was very, it was female, biologically female, but presented very masculine. Um, so, you know, I'm telling her, oh, I just, I'm telling the cop, oh, I just got pulled over, you know, whatever, uh, you know, bullshitting w with the cop really because, um, it was funny. I'd literally just gotten pulled over. So, uh, I was like, you still need my driver's license and all that. And the cop was like, yeah. So I give all that stuff, and we're bullshitting about it. Um, and uh, I don't know. The cop said something, and I, I went to say. She, the cop asked me a question. I went to say yes, ma'am. And I thought about it um, since transitioning. I try very hard not not to use pronouns to get a feel for how the person wants to be addressed first. I try just not not to make an assumption, no matter how they present, unless clearly, um, to me at least, you know, they're presenting. You know. I'm perceiving them the way they want to be presented, but um, I did think twice about it, so it was an interesting experience to have, um, and the cop was all calling me boss and stuff like that, I must have said, bo like, call me boss at least three or four times, so that was kind of a cool, interesting experience, too, um, just adjusting to life as a, life as a man, uh, I guess, um, it's, it's interesting. Uh, but I have a lot of really interesting interactions with people, so I'll try to document that. I really want to talk about baseball. There's so many videos I want to make. I still have to make my video about meeting Chaz because I met Chaz Bono. I got him to sign my book, um, and I asked a question, and I just want to talk about that experience, but I'm busy, so um, you just get these rare moments when I just feel like I have to make a video right away. Uh, so until the next time, see ya.